you of the whole town. You'll see. Hooray! Dinosaur! No, George, I'm afraid there are no dinosaurs up there. Dinosaur! But you can take Mr. Dinosaur with you. Dinosaur! All right, then. Why don't you two go and wait for us in the car while we finish getting ready? Yes, Daddy. We'll go there right away. Let's go to the car. Daddy will drive us to Windy Castle. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. You have arrived with Peppa and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh, yes, Daddy. I can see the bedroom window from here. Potato City. Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. Group. No one's there though, because it's not playgroup time. And there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. We can keep looking around. We found the museum! I love the museum. Dinosaur. <laughs> look, look. I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. Oh, today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look! Granny and Grandpa are outside! I don't think so, Peppa. We are very far away from them. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Peppa. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places. Even some that are very far away.
Pepper's house. Parents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden, and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty! She must be pretty hungry. you've brought a friend. Hello. Have you seen a chicken around here? Yes, Granny. She just left. Oh, my. That won't do at all. Peppa, can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? chickens left. <laughs> Thank you. I think there's still one chicken missing. Last one. All of the chickens are safe and sound now, thanks to you. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa's friend. Hello, Grandpa. Peppa, I think we're going to get hungry while we wait for the vegetables to grow. Would you like to have a meal? Splendid! 
Then why don't you go fetch some eggs from Granny and bring them to the kitchen? Okay. Grandpa Pig wants you to get some eggs from the chicken coop and take them to the kitchen so he and Granny Pig can cook you a meal. First, let's go to the chicken coop. This way. Hello, children. Hello, Granny. Have you come to check on the chickens? No, no, Granny. Grandpa has sent us to get eggs so we can cook a yummy meal. Why don't you take them yourself? Check inside the little house. Thank you, chicken. Ah, I see. Why don't you take them to the kitchen? I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Granny and Grandpa Pig are waiting for you in the kitchen. Better not make them wait too long. Let's go this way. Ah, there you are. I hope you're hungry. I am. Hungry? We have delicious hard-boiled eggs for you two. Why don't you sit at the table? Mmm, smells delicious. Enjoy your meal, everyone. It's very good. I'm glad you like it, Peppa. I'm sorry, Polly. I don't think these would be good for you. It's very good! We have arrived. But, Grandpa, Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach. So instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh, we wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. 
When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Lily, what kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools and put what you find in the bucket? Take a look in the rock pools on the beach and show Granny and Grandpa Pig the things you find. It's a coin. Perhaps it once belonged to a pirate. Whoa! I love pirates. I found a... Crabs love to hide in rock pools. Be careful not to get your finger pinched. Oh, no. Don't be a naughty crab. Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Really? Whoa! Congratulations! You have found all the things in the rock pools and have learned a lot. Are you enjoying your time with Granny and Grandpa Pig? Yes, Mummy! <laughs> That's great. Now how about we find a spot on the sand to sit down? This place seems like a nice spot. Let's go this way. Daddy Pig, we were going to have a swim together. <laughs> I know what we can do. Can we cover him up with sand, Mummy? <laughs> it would be very funny. That would be funny. OK, then. But be careful not to wake him up. Daddy Pig has fallen asleep on the beach. And Pepper wants to cover him up in sand. Can you... Huh? Covered in sand. <laughs> Look at him. You did a great job, you two. <sighs> oh, oh, that was a good nap. Ooh. <clears throat> what's this? Oh, I see what's going on. Sorry to have woken you up, Daddy. Oh, that's all right. I must say, it feels very comfortable to be all covered in sand. <laughs> 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 Let's make a sand castle. First, put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over and then lift it off. Ta-da! And now, you can knock it down. I love sandcastles.
Wait a minute. You can't go in like this. Oh, all right. Parents' house. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. It will look great on Pepper's wall.
lovely. It will look great on Pepper's wall. What a lovely drawing! Why don't you take it and hang it in Pepper's house? Three, two, one. Splendid! Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Children, today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday, Danny. Anyone else want to guess? How about you? Good guess! Today is Sports Day. Whoa! What is Sports Day? Sports Day is a very important day. So we can all stay healthy. Let's go to the running track. Ooh! All right, children. Start running on my count. One, go! <laughs> Children! Very good, Pepper. And your friend is very fast. One last effort, children. You're almost at the finish line. Congratulations! You all did a very good job. You all deserve a trophy today, don't you think, Peppa? Susie? Pedro? And you too, of course. I hope we all learned about the importance of sports today. But can we still run if it's not sports day? Oh, of course. You can always run. Running is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go this way. 